Now, the ENCA election bus is in Limpopo, Tolium Gambi, of course, in the village of Muishe in Guiani. Tell us what life is there for people after 25 years into democracy, Koli. Uh, good afternoon to you, Shahan. We are in the village of uh, Muyeshe, and uh, this is uh, just some 30 kilometers from the town of uh, Guiani here. Now, Shahan, importantly, this particular village is uh, one of those that was picked uh, by the former president, Jacob Zuma. And the reason it was picked was that uh, it was going to be used as a model of what uh, rural development, the rural development program that was being driven aggressively by his government at the time. And this is what essentially this village uh, would essentially benefit from, uh, being turned into that uh, model of prosperity prosperity, if you like. But uh, many years down the line, let's find out from uh, the people who live here what life is like. And uh, I'm joined, Shahan, uh, by Kokwana uh, Mamaile Maluleke Muyeshe. She is the wife of the late chief of this area of uh, Muyeshe. Uh, Chief KB uh, Muyeshe. And next to her is a colleague of ours, a local uh, colleague. She's a journalist, uh, Misho Malulege. The surnames may be the same, but uh, trust me, there are no relations, Shahan. So she's going to help us with the translation. Ukokwana, uh, uh, she speaks in Shitsonga. Kokwana, talk to us about what life is like for women of this village of uh, Muyeshe. We are told that this is one of the poorest villages in South Africa. Muyeshe <laughs> Um, basically, is the provision and lack of water. There's there's no uh, water in this in this village. They have to carry their buckets on their head. Women still do that in this village. They walk in those long they distances. They walk long distances to fetch water and come back. They still even use wood, firewood. So that, so they go into the the bushes. You can understand that's not very safe, and carry the, that on their head as well. In order to prepare dinner. Yeah. Because sometimes uh, there are villages who are lacking uh, electricity. Mm. Uh, Kokwana, the village, or should I say the town of uh, Greater Giani, there's a project here that was being built uh, by Kato Civils, and that project was meant to uh, transport water, obviously with the pipes, transport water from the Nandoni Dam, which we understand is in Tohiando, to the Nsami Dam, which is a dam that is here in Guiane. Now, the reason of this piping of water is that the Nandoni Dam is the bigger dam, and so it would bring lots more water into the Insami Dam. What has happened to that project? Do you know about that project? Because I think this is what many people in, in, uh, in Guyana cry about, the water scarcity, the lack of water. <laughs> We've heard about Katu civils um, that we were going to get water supply from Nandoni Dam into the Sami Dam that would also help the village in providing water for all. But we don't know where where Katu Civils is now. We we haven't heard from it. We don't have water. Kokwan, 
Uh, final question. I know the studio already, they're telling us to wrap. We are out of time, so I'm going to ask you to be very brief. Uh, the former president came here to promise that there would be big change in this village. What has been delivered since he was here? President South Africa President Jacob Zoom, na matangi la mawa iba ayenda na poso ayenda na ofisi la e endlini swe swe mara leswi a swi vuri leswi swinwana swi sele ku sele molo eteta endla molo ayenda stadium iba a endla pato a endla mati a swi kona swe swi a swi ndliwangi um what he promised, most of the things he managed to, to, to keep the promise. He has built the post office, um, the clinic. He also provided uh, the big truck, trunk, tanks to provide uh, water. But mostly what he, he left out, it's, it's part of, you know, the, 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 the uh, tar road. Um, the, he promised them all because they traveled to town and it's quite far. Um, he promised a stadium. You know, recognition as activities is not. So, he all right, our anchor Kuliam Gambi, of course, in Limpopo, in Guiani in particular, speaking to people there about their issues. The election bus, the ENCA election bus, will continue to go across the country and will bring you live updates in all of our bulletins.